You're watching DCTV Denton Community Television. Praise God. Hallelujah. What a God we serve. He is wonderful counselor, almighty God. Hallelujah. Oh, he is all powerful. He is the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. What another blessed and wonderful day it is. Oh, to give praise and Thanks and honor to Almighty God. Hallelujah. Oh, I just love the Lord. I tell you, I love the Lord. I couldn't wait to come to do another taping. Oh, hallelujah. For God's people. Oh, hallelujah. You know, so many people, they write and they call and they just enjoy the message. They not so much looking at Pastor Jerry, but they are enjoying the message. Praise God. Being saved being touched, being delivered, being set free and healed by the power, oh, hallelujah, of God. Isn't that wonderful? God is so good. Hallelujah. And let me say this at the beginning. Listen, you are, you, listen, you are always welcome to call and to write. You will see all of that information at the end of the broadcast. And you are welcome. I have a prayer line there that you could call if you need uh, uh, me to stand in the gap with you in prayer. And let me tell you something, when you don't use that prayer line, you are missing your blessing because if I could get all, which I know I can't and I never could, and I know that I can't, I, I just can't do it. All the people that are being so blessed by calling, so many call the prayer line and they would, and they leave on there sometime. Oh, pastor, you know what? Oh, you prayed for me and I got delivered. I got set free. I got, I got healed. And you know, it just something when you don't call. Now, don't tell me you don't need prayer. I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. And all I'm asking that you call the prayer line. Write me. Hallelujah. And let God, oh, hallelujah, speak to your heart. Let him answer that prayer. Let him help you in that need, oh, that you're going through. Maybe, I'm sure you're up against something. Not maybe, because we all, we live in a fallen world. And yes, we have, we, we come up against things in our life. Every day. And that's the reason why that prayer line is there for you. Even the, at the P.O. Bar, you could write, hallelujah. God is answering prayers. Let me tell you, he is still in the prayer answering business. I want you to know that. Praise God. Oh, I just thank God I have a wonderful word for you today. And I pray that you are ready to listen and to receive. Praise God, because God is, listen, still on the throne. Hallelujah. He got everything in control. It doesn't matter what you may be going through, what you are facing. God got it in control. Listen to me. He got it in control. I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. Praise God. He is so good and so wonderful to us. Praise God. Some of us, we don't even, we don't even believe in him. We don't even want to talk about it. You know, I, I think I re, uh, said this uh, sometime on another broadcast, you know, that I just can't stand to be around people that don't want want to talk about Jesus Christ. They want to gossip and talk about everybody. If I, I, you know, and I don't understand that. You know, I would rather to say something good, and I can always say something good, because there is nothing but good in God. Oh, and talk about him. You know, but some people just don't want to do it. They want to wait till on Sunday to do it. But if you got to wait till on Sunday to talk about God, you don't know him. <laughs> Let me say that again. And this Pastor Jerry Gilliard is saying it because I know what I'm talking about. If you got to wait till on Sunday to say something about God, you don't know him. I mean that. You don't know him because you see every minute, every second, every hour, every day, every week, every month, every year, come what may, you ought to talk about Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because the Bible tells us, oh, all the good things about him. Hallelujah. And if you study the word and stop talking about 
about people, study the word. God will intervene. You know, so many of us, we, 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 we got something afflicted in our body. If you would shut your mouth up and stop talking about people and stop being worried and to stop being uh, uh, globbing off in other people's mouth. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. And ask God, oh, to heal your body, to touch your body. Hallelujah. Let me, he will do it, but you got to get in his word. Hallelujah. Oh, I tell you, I'm kind of stirred up this morning because I was out early this morning at five o'clock walking, looking up at the star. Oh, thanking God for everything. Hallelujah. Because see, I can thank him every minute, every second. Oh, I can thank my heavenly father because he is just that good. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Let me, before I get to running my mouth, let me have a word of prayer and I'm going to get right into the message because this message going to cause you to give thanks to God. Hallelujah. Uh, many of us, we really need to give thanks to God. Praise God. Let us have a word of prayer. Praise God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as I come before you this morning, Lord, I thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, for everything that you have done, what you is doing, and yes, what you're going to do. Thank you, Father God, for the presence of the Holy Spirit right here. Oh, hallelujah. I thank you so much. And I pray that all that are listening, Father God, oh, that they be moved by this message. Oh, Father God, to tell others about it. Hallelujah. Because, Father, if it ever been a time that we need to give thanks to you, Father, it's right now. Hallelujah. And I thank you so much for everything you have done. And, oh, I thank you, Father God, for this opportunity because I know, God, that I can't do anything, oh, hallelujah, without you. Oh, and I praise your holy and righteous name. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus for the opportunity, Lord, to proclaim your word, the message of the cross, all, Father God, over the world. Father, if it's not by way of television, it's, Father, I'm traveling. I thank you so much in the mighty name of Jesus. And, Father, we give you all the praise, all the glory and all the honor in the mighty precious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father God, thank you so much. Hallelujah. If you have your Bible and I pray that you do, hallelujah. I know it's not Sunday. I don't, I don't know when you may be viewing this broadcast, but it may not be Sunday, but that's okay. God is God every day. Hallelujah. Praise God. Turn with me to the book of St. Luke in that uh, 17 chapter. And I'm going to read into your hearing the words that the Lord has given unto me for his people. Praise God. And it is a wonderful word because you know one thing. Let me say this. God does not demand that we thank him. Oh, no. He don't demand that. No, he don't. But isn't it good that we could thank God for everything? Hallelujah. How even the low, the high. Hallelujah. Because sometimes, you know, it takes a mountain to get a hold of us, to, to, to bring us back to the, to the center and the priority of thanking God. Sometimes it may take a, listen, a troubled storm to come in our life, to wake us up. Sometimes maybe even a desert. Hallelujah. That we have to go through to wake us up. Oh, to give thanks to God. But you know what? God will allow whatever it needs in your life to wake you up before it's too late. That's the kind of God that I serve. Praise God. And that's the kind of God that is all about his word. Hallelujah. His word, oh, let me tell you, is powerful. His word is truth. His word is spirit. Hallelujah. Praise God. In that 17th chapter of St. Luke, I'm going to read into your hearing, and then I will give you my text. Uh, starting at that 11th verse, it says, And it came to pass, as he went, talking about Jesus, to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were leopards, which stood afar off. And they lift up their voice and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And they lifted up their voice, listen at this, and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. 
And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. I'll explain that when I get through reading. And Jesus answering, saying, were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? There are not five that return to give glory to God, save this stranger, talking about the Samaritan. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. Let me tell you something. This, 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 this what I just read, is very powerful. And I want you to listen what the Lord has laid upon my heart to give you. Hallelujah. And it is a blessing if you receive it by faith. Hallelujah. Because what Jesus said in his word is for us today. Hallelujah. You got to understand that. Now, I want to act, I, it's, well, it's really not a question, but I'm going to put it into a question. Is your trust in God so strong that you act on what he said even before it happened? Hallelujah. Just as he told these lepers. Now, you got to understand something. The lepers in these days, and the lepers really symbolized sin in our day and time. But these was lepers, and they, you know, they were ostracized. They could not come around people. They had them in a little colony, all the lepers, because they had to stay away from people. Even if they got close to people, they had to cry out, I'm unclean, I'm unclean, I'm unclean, because they could not come close to people because of the disease that they had. Hallelujah. But Jesus, listen what Jesus does. See, that's the reason why he is so willing to meet whatever you are going through. He can do it. If it's sickness, emotional, whatever it is, something may be physically wrong with you, maybe you're going through something, Jesus is waiting for your call. He is waiting for your cry. Just like these leopards cried out, Master Jesus, have mercy on us. Now, when they said, have mercy on us, look how Jesus respond to them. And he will do the same thing today. Hallelujah. Now, the, the title of this message is, why don't you give thanks to God? Why don't you give thanks to God? So many times, let me say this, so many times, you know, we are blessed and we have miracles happen in our lives every day. But how many of us take the time out to pick up the phone and call someone and tell them what God God has done in your life through his son, Jesus Christ, uh, by the power of the Holy Spirit. How many give thanks to God? You can thank him right now because when you laid down last night, uh, you wasn't expecting, you, you probably was expecting, but you, listen, you didn't know whether you was going to get up this morning and you did. Why don't you take a little time right now and say, thank you, Father, for another day that you have enabled me to see. Why don't you do that? that. It, I know, let me say it again, it's not Sunday, because I know most of you have to wait to go to church, they, what y'all call the church. I don't know what it is. It's just a social gathering to me and to those that really are, know the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, I tell you, if I'm not feeling good, I'm feeling good here. Hallelujah. But you ought to thank God, oh, for everything. You ought to thank God for right now, just for having breath in your body. Just, to, you know, I was telling the, uh, uh, my uh, congregation yesterday, you ought to listen, you ought to just move a finger and say, thank you, Lord, uh, or oh, to be able just to move a finger. Hallelujah. You ought to thank him uh, oh, for giving you, listen, breath to breathe. Uh, you ought to thank him for the blood that run warm in your vein. Uh, you ought to thank him for the roof over your head. Uh, you ought to thank him, oh, just to be able to look around and see the handiwork of God. Uh, oh, hallelujah. You ought to thank him. Him, uh, for your family, your children. You ought to thank him. Uh, oh, for the transportation. You ought to thank him. Uh, oh, I don't know how you get around, uh, but whatever it is, uh, you ought to just thank him for it. Hallelujah. These lepers, uh, let me tell you, when they cried out to Jesus, good God Almighty, when they cried out to Jesus, Master, Jesus, uh, have mercy upon us. Jesus didn't ignore them. You got to understand, they was in a little colony because 
because they was uh, leprous. Uh, they had that disease where they couldn't come up to people. Hallelujah. Now, let me tell you this. Uh, nine, it was ten of them. Nine of them were Jews, uh, and only one was Samaritan. And this Samaritan was despised by the Jews. Uh, they was kind of like off-breed. So they didn't want to accept them. Uh, they thought, listen, the Jews thought that Jesus uh, didn't have nothing to do with the Samaritans. Uh, but good God Almighty, let me tell you something here today. Uh, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you're from. Uh, it doesn't matter who, what you have done. Uh, Jesus cares about you. Uh, you got to understand something. Uh, you are his creation. Uh, good God, uh, we was made. Uh, oh, hallelujah. The Bible tells us uh, in the book of Genesis, uh, we was made in the image uh, of God. Hallelujah. Uh, now you become his child uh, when you accept him as uh, your Lord and Savior. Uh, but good God Almighty, uh, when you cry out to Jesus, uh, he'll come, uh, but you got to mean it. Uh, you see, when they cried out to him, uh, Jesus, uh, uh, he looked at him, and the Bible tells us, uh, let me go back here. Um, and the Bible said, uh, when Jesus looked at them, uh, and they said, have mercy upon us. Uh, we are leprous. Uh, we are ostracized. Uh, we have to live away from people. Uh, but Jesus didn't dine them. Uh, he didn't criticize them. He only said, uh, go show uh, yourself uh, to the priest. I don't have time to go back uh, and tell you why they went to the priest. Uh, maybe one day God will lead me to tell you all about that. But let me tell you something. When he told them, go show yourself to the priest. Now, you got to understand this. They could not even approach the priest. Oh, being a leper, because leper, oh, symbolized sin. Good God Almighty. And listen here. When he said that, they didn't question him. The ten leper, they didn't question him. All they did was did what Jesus said. I wonder uh, how many of you out there uh, know the word of God uh, and when he say something in the word uh, and you uh, you act upon it. You don't have to question him. You just act upon it. Those leopard uh, heard Jesus when he said, go show yourself to the priest. Uh, and you know what happened? Uh, all ten of them uh, went on. Uh, oh, but the Bible tells me uh, on their way uh, to the priest, uh, they was healed. Good God about it. Do you need healing this morning? I know you do. Uh, I know you do. Uh, you you see, I'm around everywhere. I see people that I see people, and I know you need healing. Why don't you trust Jesus? You don't have to believe what Pastor Jerry say. Get the word of God and see what he said. When he told those lepers, 10 of them, go show yourself. Good God about it. Go show yourself to the priest. And what he's saying to you right now, good God about it. If I could jump, I would. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, I don't know what your trouble is. Uh, I don't know what you need. Uh, I don't know. Your body may need a healing right now. Uh, why don't you uh, listen to the word of God? Uh, he said, uh, go show uh, yourself to the priest. Uh, and they took it and they went on. Uh, and on their way, uh, they was healed. Uh, hallelujah. Why? Because they obeyed what Jesus said. Uh, are you obedient to what Jesus say? Or are you looking to man? Let me tell you something. Get your eyes off of man. Get your eyes off of Pastor Jerry. And listen to what I'm telling you according to his word. Good God Almighty. And you know what? Now we coming down to thank you. Because now Jesus have healed all ten of them. Good God Almighty. And only one... Oh, hallelujah, uh, came back uh, to say thank you. Uh, I want to stop here and tell your testimony. Uh, there was a young lady. Uh, I call her my daughter. Uh, she used to work up here, um, uh, and she wanted to transfer it back to another place where she lived, uh, in Dallas. Uh, and she drove from Dallas up here to work every day. Uh, and she wanted to be transferred, uh, you know, closer to home. Uh, and she called me one day uh, and asked me to 
pray about it. And you know, Pastor Jerry, I love to pray because you see, God will answer prayer. Boy, I feel pretty good. Good, I feel good. You let me tell you something. When you're talking about the word of God, it makes me happy because it's my life. And she called me to pray about it. And I asked God to make a way out of no way. I used to hear the old people say that. Make a way out of no way for this young lady. And you know what? About four months went by. Five months went by. She's still calling me. I'm still praying. And I tell you, it happened, y'all. Because one day, I'm coming down to thank you now. One day she called me. She said, Pastor Jerry, would you come to my job up here in Den? I said, yes, I will. She said, I got good news for you. I couldn't wait to get there. And when I got there, tears was rolling down her eyes. And she started me to cry, happy and joy. She said, I've got transferred oh, to my job in Dallas. And it's just 10 minutes away from my house. Don't tell me God won't answer prayer. And she wanted to thank me. I said, let's thank God. Because if it wasn't for him, good God Almighty, it wouldn't have happened. But I want you to know something. You need to thank God. This Samaritan turned all the way around and came back to thank Jesus. And he was despised by the Jews. But you see, God's mercy reaches out to everybody. Doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter your color. Doesn't matter where you're from. Doesn't matter what you've done. His mercy because of the cross of Christ. When Jesus died there, he, listen, let me tell you something. He want mercy to his children. So when you need him, why don't you cry out right now? You, I, I'm talking to you. Yes, you right there. Why don't you cry to him? Good God Almighty, I got to say this too. In service yesterday, let me tell you something. That was a young lady. She was in a wheelchair. And she, I was, I was what did I preach about? I don't, I don't forgot. Anyway, I was telling them about how good God is and how he'll answer prayer. And I said, if you just believe him, you may not see it right now. And this young lady never walk, but she got up out that wheelchair and she began to walk. And I run over there. I say, you're walking, honey. She say, I believe in Jesus. Do you believe in God or do you believe in man? I'll tell you something. Most of you believe. Yeah, I said it. Don't you cut that TV off. Most of you believe in man. If it wasn't for man, good God Almighty. But I'm going to tell you something. You better put your trust in Jesus because he is. Oh, good God Almighty. He is wonderful. He is counselor. He is almighty God. He is everlasting father. He is a healer. He is the prince of peace. He is the one that set you free. He is the one that deliver you. Oh, good God Almighty. Oh, I feel pretty good. Good God Almighty. I tell you, Jesus is all right. Hallelujah. Do you know him? Oh, good God. You ought to get to know him. I didn't say man. I didn't say man. I didn't say your pastor. Do you know Jesus? Oh, good God Almighty. He is the one. If these leprosy was here this morning, they'll ask you, do you know the man? It's all right. Let me tell you something. Like I said, Jesus don't demand us to give him thanks. But isn't it wonderful? If we were giving thanks, he will open up your eyes spiritually. He will illuminate your spirit more and more to know about him. Oh, good God, these leprosy. Listen, it was 10 of them. Whew, good God Almighty. Only one came back to give thanks. I'm going to ask you something. When I went out walking this morning, I'll tell you the stars was all over the sky. And I began to thank God just to be able to get up, just to be able to walk, just to be able to design. Listen, looking at the stars, I just thank him. 
I just thank him. I walked about two miles, and I said, Father, I'm going to walk a mile going and a mile coming, and I just want to thank you all the way. <laughs> Woo, good God Almighty. And I began to thank him in the name of Jesus for everything. I want you to take this day right now, whatever you view in this broadcast, and you began to thank God. Because let me tell you, without him, you are nothing. Hallelujah. Without him, if there are any sinners right now viewing this broadcast, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior, I want you right now where you're at to pray this prayer with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner, but I come to you. I've heard the word, and I come to you, Father, to have mercy and to forgive me of my sin. And you know what? And say, Father... In the name of Jesus, I accept you as my Savior and my Lord. And you know what? You are the child of God right now. You have come into the Ark of Covenant. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I want you to write me and let me know. Call the prayer line. And let me know you got saved. Because let me tell you, his mercy extends to everyone. His mercy reaches out. His mercy Reach it out, that same blood 2,000 years ago that shed was on Calvary. It's still flowing today. That, that blood of Jesus still set men free. You hear what I said? The blood of Jesus still set men free. You, all you have to do, if you don't know him, cry to him. Cry to him, he'll answer. When these lepers, and like I said, lepers was, a, was symbolic as sin. 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 So if you have sin in your life, as the Bible says in the book of 1 John 1, 9, when we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us, to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Listen, God will hear your prayer. God will hear your prayer right now. He'll hear your prayer. All you have to do is call out to him. Hallelujah. He heard these lepers. And he told them to go show yourself to the priest. And on the way, they was here. Let me tell you, do the same today. Get your eyes off a of man and put your eyes on Jesus. Put your eyes on Jesus because he is the only one to help you. Hallelujah. He is the only one to help you. He can help you. Doesn't matter what it is. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Praise God. He is ready to meet that need right now. He is ready to do it. He is ready to meet the need. All you have to do, cry to him. And I know, listen, your obedience, your action, listen, will move the hand of God. Praise God. Listen, I want you to write me, call me. Praise God. I'll see you next time. <music>